Okay, ashes. So it says here, uh, another for electric cell uses a different metal for a photocathode. This metal requires twice the minimum energy for the electron released compared to the metal in the first cell. If drawn on the same axes, how would the graph line obtained for the second cell compare with the first cell? Uh, number two, explain your answer with reference to Einstein's photoelectric equation. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to talk about the graph. So if we were doing the graph, you can see that the frequency they have put on the x-axis okay so on the x and on the y-axis they have put energy in joules okay and they have a point here which is 10 and they've got another point here which is 20 and they've drawn a straight line like this okay and this particular point if you read off is 4 times 10 to the 14 Hertz okay now using Einstein's photoelectric equation we must use the equation and energy equals HF okay so we could use that equation or we could use the kind of more uh, in-depth equation which says the kinetic energy EK the kinetic energy of the photoelectron equals the energy of the photon minus the work function. You need the work function first. So this is needed to get the electron out of the surface. So if you have the surface of the metal, the work function is needed to get the electron out, just out. Okay. Any extra energy that's given by the photon can be spent as kinetic energy. Okay. So that's the first bit. That's the first bit. So we would use this equation. So e equals hf, e equals hf, okay, <clears throat> minus the work function. What we'll find is that if we work out the gradient for this particular line, we can say I've got a change in y divided by a change in x, a change in y, but if I look at my y function, my y function is actually energy. That's what's on the y-axis. It's a change in energy divided by x change in x which is actually frequency change in frequency if I rearrange this equation you can see if for a minute if we ignore this if we say energy equals f min okay you can see that if we divide both sides by f we get h so really the gradient here represents h which is Planck's constant and it's constant which makes sense because the gradient is constant okay so they ask you in the question they say why why does or how does the gradient change with the second metal now, and the second metal it says very clearly that it has double or takes twice the minimum energy for electron to be released so if it's 4 times 10 to the 14 for the first metal it's going to be 8 okay so this point here will be 8 times 10 to the 14 Hertz but as you can see, the gradient is still the same. There's a parallel line because E, change in E divided by the change in frequency is still going to give you H, which is Planck's constant. Okay, that's really important. The intercept, the intercept, why is it intercepting at 8? Because we know it's double the minimum frequency, 4 times 2 equals 8. But we know when kinetic energy equals 0. So if we use the previous equation that we need to use for this, which is that the kinetic energy of a photoelectron is equal to HF so the energy of the photon coming in minus the work function you need this bit we need to spend the work function first to get out of the material and then we have the rest of the energy that's any energy that's left over we can then use as kinetic energy but at this point when energy equals zero okay so if we just rewrite this here if I say EK the kinetic energy equals zero which is what it does which what it is what it equals when the frequency <coughs> when we intercept the x-axis you can see at this point energy is zero it's a zero kinetic energy so if ek is zero zero equals hf minus the work function if I take the work function of the other side I have work function equals h but at this point we call f here the minimum or the threshold frequency so at this point the work function equals 
Planck's constant times this very special minimum frequency. Okay? And that's why that is 8. Okay? Because we've been told that it's double the previous work function, or the, uh, where it's double the previous frequency. Okay? Any questions, just email me again. Thank you. Bye.